Good day everyone. This is our first a topic in arts. So since we are done with the music lesson one, let's proceed to the arts. So our topic for today is all about the personal ornamentation of the people of Luzon. Highlands and Lowlands group. So in the Lowlands group, when the Spaniards colonized the Philippines in the 16th century, most of the ethnic groups of the lowlands were converted to Christianity, and many of the pre-colonial artworks, practices, and traditions were destroyed or abandoned. Today, little is known of the pre-colonial arts and craft of the lowlands. Most of the arts that we consider traditional for the lowlands of Luzon are based on Spanish tradition and Christian belief. In the highlands of Luzon, many indigenous groups were able to preserve their pre-colonial art traditions due to inaccessibility of the terrain and savagery of the tribes in battle. Unfortunately, many of these indigenous arts are in danger of disappearing as they have continually become diluted due to migration, modernization, and the disinterest of the youth to continue communal costumes. Let's proceed to the costumes and accessories of the people in the highlands of Luzon. We have the tapis. Tapis is a general term for a rectangular piece of cloth that is wrapped around oneself. Tapis, it can be tied around the waist, creating a skirt. It is the most common lower garment for the women of the highlands. There are different kinds of tapis. Depending on the occasion, it is generally Simple, but with touches of color. For the Fugos, the common color of the top is black with red design. For the Kalingas, it comes in red, green, and yellow. They would also sew shells and beads onto their tapis. The next one is the G-string. For the men, the G-string, which is a long piece of woven fabric, tied tied around the waist with its ends covering the front and then the rear of the wearer is traditionally used. The G-string is it is called Wanu for the Fugaus and Bahag for the Kalingas. The common color of the Wanu are red and black while red, green, yellow for the Bahag. Various Wanu and Bahag are used depending on the social status of the wearer and the occasion it is used. Let's proceed to the people of the mountain province use accessories and ornaments to make themselves more attractive. They were wear bracelets, headdresses, necklaces, and earrings made of beads, shells, metals, animal parts, and other products. So the first one is Olu de Kango. That is the example of the headdresses. The next one is the Lingling or Adinumog. Also, the example of the necklace. So, let's proceed to the tattoos. Tattoos are done for ritualistic reason or to show one's affiliation. Tattoos are a type of body ornamentation wherein a permanent mark is made on the body through the insertion of pigment under the skin. It is said that the more tattoos a tribe member has, the more honor and accomplishments he or she has achieved. Women consider tattoos as their upper garments. One interesting type of such a tattoos is called chaklag, which is given to a bontok warrior who has beheaded an enemy. Tattoos are called batok or batik, were prevalent during the pre-colonial times and were a source of pride. It was used to celebrate significant events and accomplishments in one's life like reaching adulthood, victory in battle, and marriages. So let's proceed to the costume and accessories of the people in the lowlands of Luzon. Due to the relative easy of terrain, the people in the lowlands were most easily colonized than those in the highlands. Costumes and accessories, many of the pre-colonial art tradition were lost during the Spanish era. Most colonial art were adaptation of Spanish colonial art 
and culture using indigenous sensibilities and materials that resulted in a unique Filipino interpretation and European fashion. So that is the costume and accessories. We have the example of the costumes. The Barot Saya. The next one is the Barong Tagalog. So again, we have the two example of costumes, the Barot Saya and Barong Tagalog. So that's all for today, guys. Again, I am your MAPE teacher. Bye-bye.